Hello again YouTube. I'm going to show you another tutorial today. Uh, today we're going to be using Photoshop CS 5.5 to make a lighting effect. More specifically trying to make a light effect that looks kind of like stadium lights. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by making sure that my background layer is black. Then I'm going to add a layer on the top of it, and I'm going to use my elliptical marquee tool. What I'll do next is I'm going to make a perfect circle, and if you hold down shift while you, while you drag the size of your circle, it'll keep it scaled so that it doesn't get all stretched out like that. So I'm going to make this circle about this size, I suppose and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hold down shift and backspace to fill. I want to fill this circle in with white. Next I'm going to copy and paste that circle and I'm gonna to try to put it as close to that as I possibly can and I want to make a row of these circles. It doesn't have to be exact, but I mean you want them to be fairly close. You can make as many circles on yours as you want. I'm going to make mine go five circles across the top. And each time I pasted it, put a new layer on there. So I'm going to just merge these layers down so that all those are on one layer and now I can duplicate this layer and then move those down I'll do that one more time and move those layers down so here is my main lights that I'm gonna use once more I'll merge those layers so now I instead of having all those layers for each circle I have one layer with all of them combined. The next step that I want to do is I want to distort this to give it kind of a 3D look. So I'm going to hold down Control T and I'm going to give this a little bit of a perspective. By holding down Control and clicking and dragging from separate corners I can distort just certain areas of the picture. I'm going to bring this back side down a little bit and down, out and down. This top left corner I'm going to bring down just a shade. This one I'm going to bring back just a little bit. So now I have basically kind of an angle for my lights. Now the next step I'm going to do is I want to duplicate this layer and click OK. Then I'm going to duplicate this layer one more time. Click OK once more. So this now I should have three layers of the same thing. I'm going to make the bottom one invisible because I don't really need it right at this point in time. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose this top layer and I'm going to select just those circles. I want to make that top color have a bluish hint to it. So I'll go to my uses and I'm going to go to color. Kind of depends on how you want it to look. I am just going to choose maybe this blue for the look of mine. I, I want to have a little bit of white to it still but I think this will be okay. I'm going to click OK and then just for now I'm going to make that layer invisible. I'm going to deselect everything and now I'm going to go back down to layer 5 copy. What I'll do here is I want to duplicate this layer. I'm going to click OK and I'll go down to the bottom one and the first thing I want to do is I want to go so I have this bottom layer selected of my my bottom visible layer of those lights I will go up to 
filter down to blur down to Gaussian blur my first set of lights I don't want there to be perfect circles like seeing the edge on there so what I would like to do is I would want to just make the outsides of the lights just barely fuzzy so it's glowing on there and then I'm gonna click OK then I'm going to duplicate this layer again and then on this layer that I had created before that has the circles on there I'm going to duplicate actually I'm not going to duplicate that let's try this I'm going to add lib this a little bit here I'm going to now go up to filter then go to blur and go to Gaussian blur and this time I want these lights to be somewhat spread out around the the lights of this circle I'm gonna click OK alright so now what I want to do now that I have that done it's starting to kinda of come together a little bit I want to take this bottom layer one of these that I duplicated before doesn't matter which because they're both the same and I'm going to go to I'm gonna duplicate this layer and I want to move this one just to the top of those other layers and what I want to do now is I'm gonna to go to filter blur and I want to go to motion blur and I want to choose an angle at which that these lights are shining down at it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna make a few other changes to it in a little bit that's probably pretty good actually and when I do this then I kinda get that that streak to light effect and I think that looks pretty good so I'm going to click OK then I'm going to move this down I wanna control T to to transform this a little bit and I wanna make it horizontal so I can play with this a little bit here and then what I'm gonna do I'll hit control T again and then by holding control and picking these two edges and pulling them out a little bit and then rotating this around I can get I can move this down you know to where it kind of fits those lights and it looks like it's coming out of the lights now as you can see here I have a little bit of an edge back here so I'm gonna use just a light soft brush and kind of touch that up a little bit so now I have some lights shining out from a light source it kinda of looks like light beams then I want to add my blue layer so I'm going to go up to this top layer that I made invisible to start and I want to duplicate this layer and I usually like to duplicate these layers in case I goof up or accidentally erase one then I then I can always go back and make the other one visible and edit it again so we have layer 5 copy I'm going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and that looks pretty good I'm going to leave that one right at 60 maybe I'll even bring it in just a little bit just to have it be a little bit smaller then I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna take down the opacity of it just so I have a hint of some blue into there make it look a little nicer then I'm going to go back to my layer 5 copy I'm gonna to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm gonna bump this one down to where I have just these circles here I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna go again to filter blur and to mo to motion blur and I want to do the same thing that I did with with the white layered
So I will click OK. That looks pretty good. And then I will hit Control T. And I'm going to move this horizontal just like I did with the others to make it easier to transform how I want it. Then I'll hit Enter. Hit Control T one more time. Extend the edges a little bit. Control T. Maybe I'll bring these other ends just a little bit closer together. And then I can put this blue at about the same place where I had the other lights coming from. And I probably need to change the angle of this just a little bit more to make it match a little bit better. All right, so I have that set up nicely. I have this little line, so I'm going to lightly erase over the top of that to make that line disappear. And so now I have my lights and I have my beams coming out from that. Uh, the last step that you can do, and this is kind of optional, just kind of depends what you want to do. I'm going to make a layer and I'm going to make just a kind of a simple black pole here. So I selected that area, shift backspace, I'll go up to color, then go down to black, click OK. And I can kind of choose, a, try to find a place in here where this black will, will show up without it looking too bad. So I'll put that into the middle, go to a soft brush, and then I'm just going to keep erasing this. And so forth until it looks like it's back there. And I can even take down the opacity just a little bit to make it blend in a little bit better. And then we're about done. So again, this is just how to use lighting effects with Photoshop. Anytime you're making any type of a light source, usually you're going to have the shape of your light and you'll fill it in with white, use your Gaussian blur, and then you'll highlight it over the top with a, with a different color uh, to give it a little bit more of a realistic effect. Hopefully you enjoyed it and play around with it and see what effects you can come up with. And join us another time for another tutorial.